the G pawn goes up, squares with a rook on the seventh rank, there will be devastation for the black king. So it's not ideal to trade off the A pawns. Of course, Magnus wanted to win the A4 pawn for free, and he may be able to do just that. But even if those pawns are traded, I still think he has great winning chances because black can hardly move. Yep, he's so slippery. Hikaru, I, I've seen him defend so, so many bad positions over the course of his career. It's probably what he's best at, as he mentioned yesterday in the interview himself. But uh, here, Magnus, it's going to feel like a huge missed opportunity if he doesn't convert it. And uh, he, now, suddenly only one minute difference. Yeah. Suddenly things not so easy. Magnus maybe doubting himself for the first time this game. Hikaru doing a great job of defending. We have to praise his defensive skills. Yes, the evaluation bar says it's dead lost, but he's causing some practical problems. He's not making it straightforward. The winning moves are likely less obvious now for a human. 100%. Hikaru's resilience is from another universe, is what it feels like. And Magnus is thinking more and more. He's got about a minute on his clock. Hikaru, 30 seconds. This is not going to be as easy as we thought, by the way. Yeah, I mean, look at Hikaru's face. He is determined, and I believe the moves are going to happen fast because uh, this pawn on F7 is what Magnus will have to go for. And Hikaru, you see, rook F4, here come the moves. Here they are all going. And the white king goes up. Well, look at Hikaru go. He's just chasing the king around, trying to force it to it, a suboptimal square. But the F7 pawn, the end of the day, that still remains a target. And Hikaru down to just 11 seconds. And only three seconds increment, remember. It's getting dramatic already in game one. It's getting very dramatic, and it feels like Magnus's winning plan here is to just dodge the checks at any cost. Maybe drop your king back to d2, kick that black rook away, prevent the checks. Yes, you allow black to gobble up your queen side, but you're going for the black king. Just tunnel vision is all that's required right now. Go for that black king, and it should be the end. And he's going for it. Hikaru drops back. Very clever defensive move yet again. What a champion he is, uh, holding on here for dear life. Nihilistic in the Twitch chat saying, Psyduck versus Hikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that applause. Yes. That is amazing. And, uh, okay, he's shifting focus now. White's Rook threatening to deliver a nasty check, a mating threat there on the back rank, which Hikaru blocks yet again. It feels like Magnus is throwing everything at Hikaru, but Hikaru is always swatting it away. He always has an answer. And suddenly the Black Knight is threatening two pawns simultaneously. Magnus takes one, but... Okay, it does feel like Hikaru's slightly closer to saving this game now, especially if he can go and capture that white H pawn, that yeah. thorn in his side. What and it's heading there. That's exactly what he does. He moves that knight, attacking that H pawn, but you can pick up the F7 pawn currently. Mm -hmm. Because if you pick it up with the knight, then you don't win that H6 pawn. So white does have that option. Magnus goes for it, picking up a pawn, defending his own, and I'm expecting Hikaru to move the the rook along oh. the f-file and what, what, what happened? No, this game is second. still going. Yeah, he still had enough time, but barely enough time. Oof. And that's the problem is the knight is kicked out. So the white knight defends the pawn. The black knight can't stay there forever. And don't forget that white has this pass pawn on the queen side. That a3 pawn still exists. You're going to start pushing that one up the board and threatening the black king with checkmating ideas. Hikaru yeah. looks very unhappy with his position, shaking his head there. He looked ready to resign. He nearly got out of his chair a moment ago. Now, Magnus has to be slightly careful where he puts the king. You don't want to put the king on a passive square. There we go. Out into the open, out towards safety. And I think uh, Hikaru, body language, he's ready to resign. The white king is just going to attack these pieces. And now the black king is the one that is doomed. Checkmate. Is coming. Black's king all alone, and Hikaru does eventually throw in the towel. Wow, Magnus Carlsen strikes first in the grand final. He takes the lead, winning game one with the white pieces. That means Hikaru Nakamura will have to make a comeback at some point and take this to a grand final. Magnus looking over this, no smile on his face, but a good game by the world number one who takes the lead.